Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a collective reading. Please only take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own personal reading, my email address or my website are listed down below. Let's see what's gonna come out for the collective. We got some letters. This could be in your name, their name, nickname, city, street, country abbreviation, anything that might be relevant. A-O-T-O-I-C. All right, let's get some energy for the person on your mind. What is their energy for the collective's person? Self-absorbed. This is somebody who is thinking about themselves. They put themselves up on a high pedestal. Moving too fast. Needing time. This person is thinking a lot right now. Awakening. So they're being awoken to something right now while they are thinking. Revelation. So this person is revealing something within their own thoughts, their own perspective. And unbothered. So somebody is acting like they are unbothered by what they're going through. Even though something is being revealed to them. Resolving problems. This is somebody who could have hurt you. They're acting like it doesn't bother them, but it does. They also have possibilities. They could be thinking about the possibilities of what they're revealing and what they're being awoken to. talking about you. Okay, so they are discussing you with other people. They could be talking about the situation between the two of you. Triggers. So something has been triggering this person. That's why something they're being awoken to. Something that they have been acting like has not been bothering them is being revealed to them in a different light, a different perspective. And it's triggering this person. And that could be why they're talking about you. Maybe they're telling people they had dreams about you recently. Something is triggering this person. Cold shoulder. Maybe they were sweet at one point and now they're giving you the cold shoulder. Options. They're trying to go out and have fun with other people. Trying to act like it does not bother them. Maybe people have been talking about you to them and it's triggering this person. It could be telling people you gave them the cold shoulder when that's not the truth. Social media. They are checking your social media. They're spending lots of time watching your social media. It's like a part-time job is what I'm hearing. Still holding on. Ex-lover. Kiss and intuition. So your intuition is maybe telling you that you know they're thinking about you. Their intuition is telling them that they are acting like it's not bothering them, but it is. It's very much bothering this person. They're being triggered by their intuition of what the separation is, what they're being awoken to. Being happier. So this is somebody who is trying to be happier within their life, but they're finding out that it's not working. It's being revealed to them that them acting like they're not bothered by the separation or by the two of you not speaking, their intuition is telling them that they need to be happier, but in order to be happier, they have to resolve these triggers that's coming up. And that's what they're being awoken to. That the possibility of them resolving these issues is being revealed to them on how they need to do that. Codependency. Yeah, they definitely are very codependent. So if you're feeling this person's energy heavily on you, 
it's because they are watching you. They are thinking about you. They're reminiscing. They're very nostalgic. There's a sense of codependency they have. And reap what you sow. They're coming up very short. If they have tried to replace you, they've tried to find someone else to put in your spot, they're being revealed they can't do that. And they're coming up short with a lot of disappointment, a lot of potential options that they thought that they were going to have with other people is just turning into playing games that they're maybe receiving the cold shoulder from other people. They're recognizing that the people that are talking to them about you, they are being recognized in their face by the people around them of what they need to do. Their intuition is telling them what they need to do. And that could be why they're more curious about you. They're more curious. What are you doing? What are you up to? Who are you with? Are you in a relationship? They are literally taking watching your social media as like a full or part-time job. They're doing investigation because everything around them is making this person look at you more. They're, they're acting to front in front of everybody else that they're not bothered. It's no big deal. But behind the scenes, behind their glasses, behind closed doors, they're being revealed of what they're doing, which is they're still holding on to you. They are codependent on watching you and observing you and seeing what you're doing. This is somebody who is thinking about what is the possibility of the two of you actually coming together or coming back together? This is somebody whose ego and pride has blocked them from really seeing what the truth is. This is self-absorbed energy. They put themselves up on this pedestal that they're this unique, fabulous person. However, they're recognizing that maybe they moved too fast disconnecting from you or ghosting you. That they didn't resolve the situation within the connection like they should have. And now they're being triggered. Their intuition is triggering them nonstop. And people are talking about you and they don't know why all of a sudden people are talking about you to them. And they're being pushed to not act like it's bothering them, but to actually understand that there is this awakening that they need to realize about how they feel about you. Something they've been ignoring for quite some time. So let's find out. Let's get some tarot. We're going to see what are their intentions and what are their next actions for you. When it comes to this situation with the collective person, what is this person's intentions? Okay, so we've got the Queen of Cups coming out first, the Chariot, the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. So this is somebody who intends to open up their feelings and emotions. This is somebody who knows that they need to come towards you. They need to be very clear and very direct with what it is that they're feeling up to this point. They, they have this sense of independence, this sense of being on top, this almost arrogant energy right now, but their intentions is to be happy. And they're being shown through a lot of what they're going through. They're being awoken to their happiness at the end of the day is with you. So let's find out what actions are they going to take. Knight of Cups. Three of Swords. The Fool. Queen of Swords. Eight of Wands. Okay, we also got the five of wands in reverse hidden at the bottom of the deck. So this is somebody who wants to come out of conflict. This is somebody who is intending with their actions. It, after they're going through this full revelation and being awoken to these emotions inside of them. This is somebody who knows now that they are needing to follow their heart. Their heart is disappointed and hurt over what they did in the past. And now they know that that hurt and disappointment has left them to nothing. What they thought was going to be this great new beginning has not been. So their actions is they want to come towards you for a new beginning, but they want to be very clear about what they know up to this point, what they know from the past and versus what they know now. They want to openly communicate with what it is that they want. So let's see what is the likely outcome here for the collective and their person. What's the likely outcome? Wheel of Fortune. The hangman, 
Nine of Swords, the Tower, and the Queen of Pentacles. Honestly, at this point, the likely outcome is you may feel like the universe interjected in this connection for a reason and you have let it go. It's caused so much stress and anxiety for you that you fear if you were to make a change now and take this person back, you wouldn't be fully confident that you would get what your heart truly desires. So I do feel like even though this person is going to try to come and return to you, you may decide to decline their offer because you've already moved past it. You've already done your own healing and you just are not going to feel confident they're going to be able to give you what it is that you truly want or desire in your heart. So let's see, what is the advice for you? What's the advice for the collective in this situation? Four of Wands. Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Your advice is to seek your own intuition with the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Your intuition is going to guide you that your stability comes from your own comfort of love. And that love comes from someone who is giving to you and you're receiving. It is a reciprocated energy. And this person is not able to do that for you. They didn't do it in the past and they may not be able to do it in the future. And you're going to feel it intuitively that you don't feel that this person has the capability to put their ego and pride aside and not be self-absorbed to let go of the past and be able to give you what you truly deserve. So that Eight of Cups is, as disappointing as it may be, and as much as you wish this person was the person you want, you may decide to just go ahead and disconnect. Your advice is to follow your intuition of what you want for your sense of security when it comes to a relationship. And if you know this person can't give you that, then you may have to just use your intuition and guide you in walking away. Okay, Collective, that is what I have for you. I do want to thank you for watching this video. If you could please like, comment, and subscribe, I would appreciate it. If you want your own personal reading, my email address or my website are listed down below. Hopefully this reading did give you the clarity and insight you did need into your situation. Have a great day. Bye.